Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your PC to improve your FPS, get better performance in Rainbow Six Siege. I hope this guide helps you out. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. All right, step number one is the essential window settings. And for that, search for settings on your PC. And once you're here, go down to gaming. Head over to game bar and turn this thing off since game bar consumes a lot of CPU and RAM utilization. Disabling that will help you to improve your PC's performance drastically. Go back, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. It will optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background, helping you to improve and stabilize your FPS. Go down and you'll find graphic settings. Click on that and then click on change default graphic settings. In here, you'll find in three options. First one is hardware excellent GPU scheduling. Second one is variable refresh rate and third one is optimizations for windowed games. You're gonna have to turn on the hardware extra GPU scheduling and optimizations for windowed games. Both of them will help you to utilize your GPU to render the game as well as reduce your input and render latency. After that go back to graphics and then click on the browse button over here. Now you have to find your game where you have installed it. Now I have installed my game through Steam so I have to right click, head over to manage and then click on browse local files and this will take me to the game library. Simply copy the file path and then go into the settings, click on the browse button and then paste the file location over here. Then you have to add rainbow 6 exe, click on add. If it is already added, scroll a little bit down until you find it. Once you find it, simply click on options and then select high performance and then click on save. Also head over to the browse button and then add rainbow 6 dx11, click on add, head over to option and then click on high performance and click on save click on close step number two is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your pc and over here click on local disk c click on create and name it rainbow six this you can remember it i highly recommend you guys to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss once it is done simply click on close and close system properties okay next step is r6 siege fps pack you can download this from the link in the description below once you're here you'll find in five simple folders let's start with the first one that is cpu priority in which i have left amd and intel cpu priority so if you have an amd cpu you can double click and run the amd cpu priority and it will help you to optimize your cpu's performance by setting up the current d word value after that go back to the second folder which is ram optimization and it does the same but with your ram you need to identify the ram that you're using on your pc now you can simply look up for system information and then look for the installed physical memory it is 32 gb for me so i need to apply 32 gb ram registry in this list I have left a ton of presets according to your RAM, which you can apply it. You can always use CSET to default to reset those values back to normal if that doesn't work out perfectly. Third folder is R6 each priority in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority. And I would want you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority to choose from for your PC. Fourth folder is PC optimization where I have left some patch files. You can right click and run them as administrator. All they do is run some command prompts that you can run some command prompts that will help you to disable unwanted services on your pc which will help you to improve your performance by reducing the cpu and ram load you have to run all three of them where bc tweaks will help you reduce your input latency memory compression will help you to reduce the load on your ram and your cpu and process mitigation will improve your cpu's core performance you guys have to make sure that you right click and run them as administrator last folder is the programs folder in which i have left three simple files first one is clean temporary files you have to right click and run this as administrator it will ask you to delete all temporary files on your PC and you can press any key and it will start deleting all of them. These files are accumulated with time. All of the processes that are running on your PC creates the temporary files which you can safely delete to improve your CPU's performance. Next is MSI Mode Utility 3.0. Simply right click and run this as administrator. And once you are here, you will find your graphic card. You have to click on the MSI button in front of it and for the interrupt priority set this thing to high and then click on apply. It will help you to increase the number of interrupts your GPU can handle which will help you to improve its performance performance and also help you to prioritize your GPU with the correct SFIO priority. Last and not the least is the unpack CPU. You gotta right click on this as administrator again. And once it opens up, you'll see a simple small screen right in front of you. Now Windows by default has a tendency to park the codes which are no longer in use just to put them on sleep. And this will help you to save power. But while you're playing the games, this feature can lead to unwanted FPS drops and latency issues. And to fix that, you have to set your code parking index all the way up to 100% and for the system power plan, set it to high performance or ultimate performance if that is available. After that, click on apply and will make sure that the parked cores are set to zero and the enabled cores are the maximum level. Close it and close the FES pack. 
Next step is fixing your internet connection, all of the packet loss, ping issues, latency using no ping, which you can download from the link in the description below as well. Once you open up your application, it will be a simple interface. You can simply search for Rainbow Six Siege. It offers you over 1000 games to choose from. Simply click on select the server and over here you'll find a list of servers available near to you. Find the ones which offers you the lowest amount of ping. For me, that is Mumbai 02. After that, simply click on optimize this game and it will start one click optimizing the game for your pc the best part about no ping is the settings gear over here which offers you turbo games and it helps you to reduce your keyboard input latency and boost fps which helps you to boost your in-game performance and fps in your games by applying all of these settings i personally use no ping for myself and i have seen great differences with and without using it and i would recommend you guys to do so and you can find a link to no ping for yourself in the description below next step is defragmenting your disks and it will help you to optimize your pc's performance simply search for defragment and optimize drives and over here select your local disk c if it is a solid state drive simply click on optimize and then it will start optimizing your ssd don't worry it helps you to remove the unused chunks of your ssd and accumulate the disk data to optimize your disk's performance click on the chain settings over here and then click on run on a schedule and set the frequency to weekly after that simply click on close and close Next step is disabling unwanted startup applications and for that simply press Control, shift and escape all together and this will open up task manager in front of you. You have to go down to startup apps over here and it will show you all of the applications which will start right after the boot of your PC. You want to make sure that you remove as many applications as you can that is by right clicking and disabling them from the startup list. Only keep the applications that you really use after you boot up your PC and disable all unwanted applications like Discord or Spotify or Skype, any other application that you feel is really unwanted. This will not only help you reduce your last BIOS booting time, but it will also help you to run less number of processes since the boot of your PC. Once you're done with all of that, drop into the game for the best in game settings. Okay, so once you're in your game, press your escape key. Okay, so once you're in your game, go over to the settings gear and then head over to options. Then go down to display and make sure that your display adapter is your native graphic card your monitor should be a native monitor with the native resolution display mode should always be set to full screen and your refresh rate should be set to the maximum possible aspect ratio should be auto vsync should be off fps limit should be off widescreen letterbox should be off and fov i prefer 90 then head on to graphics and over here nvidia reflex low latency you want it on plus boost scroll down overall graphics quality go with medium texture quality you guys have to go with medium filtering should be an isotropic 2x lod quality low Shading quality low, shadow quality medium, reflection quality low, VFX quality low, ambient occlusion off, lens effects off, zoom in, depth of details off, NVIDIA deep learning super sampling. You guys have to keep this thing off. AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution off. Resolution 2.0 off. Anti-aliasing go with FX AA. And rendering scale. Rendering scale, you guys can increase it. So you can see over here with the current setting, your actual render resolution is 9. 60 by 540 you guys have to improve it until it is uh, 1288 by 724 or 1360 by 764 that means you guys have to play it on 45 or 50 click on apply and that is it once you're done with that go back and now you guys can enjoy the best fps possible in rainbow six each so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash your subscribe button since it really helps me grow the channel i really appreciate your love and support and thanks for being a member for such a long time We'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.